Back in April 2021, I was on the hunt for an underperforming affiliate site that I could spend some time working on with the aim of flipping it 12 months later. 12 months on and the results are in. Have I taken the website as far as I possibly can? Probably not, but I'm pretty pleased with the revenue increase over the last 12 months and I'm ready to sell. Full details on that will be at the end of the video. In this blog income report, I'm going to be showing you the earnings for Coffee Grind Guru in April, as well as taking a look at the earnings for the last six months to help give it a realistic valuation. We'll also be taking a look at the rankings and I'll be giving you a quick demo as to how I take the content that has been written by my writer and then publish it. So let's dive in. So if we start off by looking at the income for April and comparing it to March, we can see that in April, the site made $354.64 through amazon.com. And if we compare that to March, March was just slightly higher at $367.41. We actually had more items ordered though during April. We can see here there were 280 items ordered compared to 211 in March. And conversion stands at 8.71%, which is pretty impressive. We did have 41 returned items, which obviously did have an impact on the, on the total revenues. But one thing that was good about April was that there were no products that were huge commissions that skewed this data. Whereas in March, we had one big massive sale that brought in about a $100 commission. This month, it was all the standard kind of items that we tend to sell on a month to month basis. Now, in addition to the Amazon sales, we can also see that we had a decent number of sales through Volcanica Coffee with $58.19 in commissions there. And we also had a sale for Coa Coffee, which brought in $7. So that was an additional $65.19 which I've added to the spreadsheet here. So we can see we've got our $354 from Amazon and our $65 from share sale, which gives us a total of $419 for the month of April, which is up on March and significantly up on Feb and not far off what we saw in January when we had that bumper month. Now, if we take our six month average in terms of revenues, we can see that in total over those six months, we've had a revenue of $2,251.97, which gives us a six month average of $375. Now, if we look at the traffic for April and compare it to the 30 days prior to that, then we can see that organic traffic was actually up 26.27% for the month with a total of 5,461 users compared to 4,325 the month before. And weirdly, it, direct traffic was also up. Now that could be as a result of the YouTube channel and more people looking at it. If we take a look at it in Google Search Console, we can see a similar story that impressions and clicks has gradually increased over the last month. And we can also see that we're still getting a lot of traffic for this Spin Coffee Maker. Now, unfortunately, this affiliate program is still not running. Now, when this was running, it was making a couple of hundred dollars per month. So hopefully that will come back, but still there are opportunities to monetize that keyword. So let's take a quick look at the rankings. So we can see here, and this is a great example again of what, how, how I see Coffee Grind Guru as being an authority. We've got some fairly new keywords here that are now starting to rank. So the Jura Z6, this was position 12 and 14 a month ago, and now it's in position seven. It's got some okay search volume there. Best Dark Roast Coffee, this one continues to perform well with good search volumes in at position four. Like I said, the Spin Coffee Maker, that gets a lot of traffic, good search volumes, just needs monetizing. The Volcanica Coffee, that has also come up on quite, is coming up quite nicely on page one now. This Breville Barista Express is an expensive product. It's got really good search volume and it's moved from position 24 to position eight in the last month. The Jura A9, again, another fairly expensive product. 
And then there are lots of opportunities here with these keywords that are on page two. This small espresso machines keyword has come from pretty much nowhere over the last month or so and has huge search volume and could perform incredibly well. But even without exploiting those page two and page three opportunities, this site is going to continue to perform very, very well and will perform well for those low to medium competition review type keywords. And there is a ton of opportunity for informational content too. The other big opportunity with this website is ads. I have never run ads on the site, so there's good traffic coming in. And of course, you could look to monetize and bring in a little bit more money through the use of display ads. Now, for the sake of the case study, it might be worth just having a look at the process in terms of writing and publishing. So I've actually got some content here that has not been published since it was written in February. So because there is a we've got a, a good pipeline of content for the site. And I typically only publish two or three articles each month on Coffee Grind Guru. And I think anyone that has time to write content themselves, if you can up that content velocity, again, I think you're just gonna speed up the, the progress with this site. So we've got this Breville Bambino Plus review that was written, and I'm just gonna show you the process because I've not written this content myself, it's been written and then my editor has uploaded it and added all the images and, and all the titles and everything else. So just to kind of give you an idea as to what I would look to do at this point. And the first thing really that I want to do is to take the keyword and see whether that has been included in the content because I don't ask my writer to do that and I can see that it hasn't been. So what I'm actually gonna do here is because this is written as a page, I'm going to include a, a featured image up at the top. And this links back to my last video where I talked about featured images. I'll link that in the description below. So do be sure to check that out. So all I've done here is used, I'm using stencil, but you can use Canva. Uh, Stencil is just a tool that I sometimes use for some of these. And this is a simple template that I have set up whereby I'll drop in the product image. We can just crop this down a little bit. I'll try and keep that shadow because I quite like that. So we'll just drop this in. And then this is the Revel Bambino Plus review. And That looks okay. So I'm going to download this maximum compression and I want the keyword in the image name. So Breville Bambino plus review. So that's going to download. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna drop this in at the top up here. And then what I tend to do is just put something like the keyword of the product and then describe it. So it's the featured image for that. And that can be centered. And then what I'll tend to do, I probably should have done this first actually, is I'll drop in a par just a, a quick sentence up at the top that says, that just kind of introduced it and includes the, the keyword. So something like our resident coffee expert, Alex Calder takes a look at this. I think it's an espresso machine. Yeah, it's an espresso. Takes a look at this popular espresso maker in a Breville Bambino Plus review. And then something like read on to find out if it suits your needs. And that is absolutely fine. We've got our keyword in there. And then I might just include it somewhere else. So we're going to take a look at the moves they're making in the world of domestic coffee makers today, specifically with the Bambino Plus and Espresso Maker. 
So let's find out how it stacks up against the competition in our Bam Breville Bambino Plus review. Now, I tend to like to have the product name in these H2 title tags, Breville Bambino Plus. Yeah, that all looks good. I'm just gonna quickly go through it because this is, an, this is targeting the US, we need to make sure that the spellings are for US. So, because I work on so many US websites now, I, I, I tend to just have my settings automatically set to United States spellings. Okay, the rest of it all looks good. It's all been, it should have all been checked. So that they're things that have come through the, slip through the net, but I tend not to worry about it too much. But obviously the, the, the obvious ones I do want to change. Everything else looks good. And then we'll just go in and, and look at the snippet. So we're just gonna take a look at what the other sites on page one are doing here. So pretty basic stuff. My no BS review. Okay, so some of them mentioned that it's a, a compact espresso machine. Yeah, so we're gonna go with that. And then I'm also going to put the year in there just because I like to get those numbers in, makes it a little bit more clickable, improves convert um, click-through rate quite, quite a bit actually, so that's worth doing. And then we'll go with something like this. I'm just gonna go with full verdict. Something like that. That will do. And actually because we've got this intro sentence i think that intro sentence works perfectly that's that's most likely going to pull through for the meta description so i'm not even going to add anything else in there and that is it i'm just going to check the url so we've got the parent page of reviews which is what we use with this site and then the breville bambino plus and then obviously we've got the the full bit in there what I wouldn't want to do is have review on the end there because I wouldn't want review at the end of the slug and then also in the middle. So we, all, we always take that off. The editor's done that, which is great. And we're gonna publish. We'll take a quick look at the page. And we can see that works really nicely. You know, we've got a little bit of an idea as to who has written the article up at the top. We've also got our keyword in there and then a nice featured image which kind of just you know reinforces the fact that the the reader is in the right place and then that looks quite nice we've been trying different colors on the button so green might not be what we'll stick with i think we tend to use blue usually but that looks decent so what i'll do now is just add that into the reviews under breville The Breville Bambino Plus. And then what I also tend to do is to link it from this reviews page, this parent page. So again, you could make this look much nicer, but really for the purposes of what I'm doing here, I'm literally just I'm literally just trying to get that internal linking between the two. So you can see that, you know, that, that process probably took me about 10 minutes in total. And then finally what I would do is go and add that keyword into my rank tracker and then see where that lands. I'm most likely going to be putting the website up for sale in the next week or two using Flipper or Motion Invest. 
But if you'd like to buy the site and you'd like to strike a private deal, then drop me a line at support at the affiliateschool.co.uk. I'll link that down below too. But of course, before you're going to do that, you're going to want to have an idea of the value and the potential for the website. So let's take a quick look. I value this site at $16,889 based on the last six months of revenue. That is a 45 times multiple. If you think you can get close to that, then make me an offer. I paid $1,665 for the site when it was making $25 per month on average. Now, if I can 10X the price that I paid with the sale price, I will be more than happy. And I think it also represents pretty good value for the buyer, considering the sales are actually up by 15 times compared to when I bought it, with them now standing at $375 per month on the last six month average. Now the site is on an upward trajectory. We can see that very clearly in the rankings and also in the traffic stats. And to be honest, my main reason for selling the site is because I want to close out the case study on the YouTube channel to show that process of buying a site and then flipping it after doing some work on it. And also I need to have more time to focus on some of my bigger projects that just take up so much time on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, in addition to the website itself, the buyer will also get a list of keyword opportunities from myself. They'll also get two lots of 30 minute calls, whether that be on Skype or via phone, just to get some support with the transition and to talk about opportunity and potential. And I'm also going to give three months of email support to again aid with that transition. Ultimately, I want Coffee Grind Guru to continue to grow and to be a, a real asset for the person that buys it. And I think anyone that can put some time and effort into this site will do very well out of it. It's got a very strong backlink profile in place already. It's really starting to be seen as an authority within the coffee niche, which is not easy because it is a pretty competitive space. And whether the website sells privately or through auction, I am going to document that final sale price and the process to round out this case study. So be sure to stay subscribed or subscribe if you aren't already and make sure those notifications are on to find out exactly what happens to this site in the next month or so. In the meantime, if you want to see the rest of the case study for Coffee Grind Guru, then the playlist is linked here. So feel free to browse through those videos and see that progress in action. Guys, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your projects.